Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at tap. Tap is an extremely useful method that will help you tap into the collection right in the middle of a chain. So let's dive into the example so I can show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and return, collect, and let's pass in a simple array of one, two, and three. Then we're going to reverse the array. Now let me just show you what that is at this point. We have three, two, and one, right? So we've reversed that. Then I'm going to call, for example, the tap method. Collection. Okay, so inside this function, we have a new copy of the collection. Now we can treat this as a totally new collection and it will not mess with our actual collection. So that's a really nice feature. So to show this, let's dump each of the fields inside the tap method. For that, we're going to go ahead and call collection. Now remember, this is a whole new copy. This will not affect anything in our original collection. So let's call the each on it, function value. And inside here, I'm going to call dump. And we'll say something like in tap and then tag on the value. And there we go. So we've gone in tap three, two, one, and then we've actually returned our collection at the end. I'm going to daisy chain one more method here. I'm going to daisy chain the first method. And let's see. So three is clearly our last number because we reversed the collection, right? So one would have been the first number, but the very first thing I called was reverse. Now I want to show you this inside the tap. I'm going to reverse the collection again and then show you the results. So in here we'll call reverse and then call each on that. So now we get one, two, three instead of three, two, one, because we've reversed the already reversed collection. So they basically cancel each other out. We're back to the original order. However, our first is still returning three. Our outside collection is still in its original reverse order. So if you have a really long chain of different things that you're doing to a specific collection, you can call tap at any point to receive a fresh copy that you can do further manipulation on without affecting the original collection. Now you can't call tap as many times as you need. So this is a great method to have in your tool belt.